What's going on guys, it's Ray 20 here and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 2. So, on to the Xfinity Series, uh, we went ahead and skipped the Truck Series race, that was at Texas. Uh, Matt Crafton ended up winning that race, we just started, started and parked. We're on to Pocono, let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. So still the same top three, William Byron, Brennan gone, and we're sitting there. We got our third win at Dover. Uh, scrolling down here, a pair of two wins there, Elliot Sadler, Cole Custer, Brennan Poole. And down to Dylan Lepton in last. Uh-oh, we've got a third rival. Casey Kane, Blake Cook, and now we can add David Starr to the list. I don't know why David Starr is so mad at us, but whatever. <laughs> so with that, let's go ahead and hop into it. Well, here we go. Good old Pocono, man. This Pocono, the races we've done at Pocono, whether it was NASCAR Heat Evolution or NASCAR Heat 2, always seem to be pretty interesting. Timmy, I swear to God, I will you better get your ass over there. I will take you down to the grass if I could. Car high, Jesus. I know you're a little underfunded and all, but you should have a spotter. Well, what was I trying to say before I was rudely interrupted? Pocono, yeah. So Pocono always seems to be pretty interesting, whether it's NASCAR Heat Evolution or NASCAR Heat 2. Whether it's a good interesting or a bad interesting, it was always sort of kind of interesting. Oh yeah, that's right, David Starr's a rival. Yeah, I don't even know why you're a rival. Why, why are you a rival? I don't... I don't get it. Nobody likes you, David Starr. Jeez. Oh yeah, here we go, down the long front stretch. So Garrett Smithley. Oh, Garrett Smithley. We got a five lap stage. So, yeah, stages would be really short, but of course the, the, the laps are really long around here. So, they got plenty of time here to make up some time. I mean, coming, coming all the way from the back, so I like sucked and qualified. The car was like really tight. I was like, okay, here, let me make a bunch of adjustments and just hop out of the race and see what it does. But I gotta say, it's not too bad. Uh, it's turning pretty good. Uh, I haven't really been able to really let it rip. I'm still kind of racing here in traffic, but I mean, just working around everybody, it's a little, a little wishy-washy, but I think it's all right. Oh, here we go. A little higher than I wanted. Oh, yeah, I missed the line. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Turn one, man. Turn one is rough. Very wide. It's like, if you don't get your turn in right, good luck. That's one thing I've noticed. This is, um... Yeah, I don't think Irising. Irising doesn't even have the repave for Pocono, which kind of sucks. Yeah, they're still on the old Pocono. That's one thing. Irising doesn't have a lot of the new, um, the new repaved configurations of a lot of the tracks, which kind of sucks, but I'd imagine it's pretty hard to go back and rescan a lot of stuff. So this is, uh... I don't know how realistic it is to compare, but... I guess it's really my first go at the new repaved version, so... Yeah, of course, there's a lot more grip, obviously, but, um... Yeah, man, turn one is just so long. It's so long, it's really easy just to get that turn in. I mean, look, the corner just goes forever. Through the middle, come on. Oh, man, it sucks that we're slowing straight away. I might get a little bit of help here. Got some side draft. I mean, definitely don't want to go through right off in a tunnel turn. I mean, I'll try it. I don't really want to, but... If you give me the straightaway speed, I'll do it. There we go, around the high side. Oh yeah, this thing's pretty feeling pretty good. A lot of room to slide up out of three. Pocono is a lot of fun, man. You just get a little bit of everything when you come here. A long track, long straightaways. Yeah, it's not so fun when you don't have very, very good straightaway speed, but. Oh, what in the hell? <sighs> why is it? <laughs> what is why, why is it so hard to pull out of the way and miss them? <laughs> It's something I'll never understand. I can see the guys there developing NASCAR Heat 2. And, like, they have that, those random failures. And everybody's just like, here's an idea. Instead of making it to where they're smart enough to, to dodge them, let's just make them pile in. <laughs> I know it'll be fun. I don't blame them for that one. But, man, maybe for NASCAR Heat 3, we can get some AI that are smart enough to get the hell out of the way sometimes. I don't know. Might be a good idea. Put that on the drawing board. 
There it is, the first, uh, the end of the stage. Uh, first stage already, only five laps, so. Um, okay, let's take a look at the fuel, because I think we might be able to make it to the second stage. Uh, ooh, five laps. I'm going to bank on it being another five lap stage. Watch, it'll probably be six. All right, well, me and Garrett Smithley. What's up, Garrett? The only two to stay out. Rip. I think that was a good call, though. I don't know how many laps the stage is. Five. Okay. So, might be able to make it. We also might run out on the last lap. We're going to find out here. We might. I think we're probably going to have to save a little bit, but we're right on the money as of now. Oh, man, this thing's shoving. And it just cycled down to four. So, we're pretty short. We're not even half a lap. We're over half a lap. Oh, and it's going to be so hard to save that much with all these guys up my rear end. Well, rip. Oh, what the damn! Oh, no! Or we just wrecked the entire field and not get a fucking caution. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. Let's just wait until he falls all the way back to 39th. Is he in 39th yet? Okay, now let's do the caution. Thanks! And there's stage number two, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go to the end. How many laps we got to go? I have no idea. But I'm sure I've just picked up a lot of rivals right there. Oh, of course, the wheel's all uncalibrated after that wreck, so I was trying to save it. Alright, so 15 laps to go, 10 laps of fuel. Let me recalibrate my wheel. Alright, I'm going to take my usual 10-15 seconds to tell you I race with the Logitech G20 or G920 on Xbox. And I will tell you not to get one. I would highly not recommend it. <laughs> Why? Because if you wheel it too much, it just becomes uncalibrated. It doesn't know what the hell to do anymore. And I've already broken it. It's like the, I've, I've broken the gears a little bit, so it's chittery and chattery, and I can't turn it very smooth. So that's the wheel I race with. I highly recommend you do not buy it. So back to the race. Oh, man. It's still got a long, long time. <laughs> Guys, it's so hard to wreck people. I'm so sick and tired of being pushed in the wall, man. I'm, I'm tired. You didn't deserve that, Carl. You didn't. All right, I'm not. I'm not as much pissed to Ray Black Jr. I'm. That, that's just AI cars being stupid. However, I'm pissed to David Starr. I don't even. I don't even remember. Like, how is he my rival already? Oh, I guarantee you, oh, he's, uh, he's just been one of the few cars to, like, pile into each and one of my wrecks. Why is it? I just can't dump him off the... off the... Oh. Fucking dick. Yeah, that's right, go to the back. Nobody likes you. Here we go, through the middle. There you go. Oh, yeah. Just letting you know I'm there, buddy. Just letting you know I'm there. I'll let you know that I'm here one more time. Yeah, you just like to shove people in the wall, don't you? Yeah, I get shoved in the wall, bitch. Alright, well, I feel a lot better. So we've got 10 laps to go. Hold on, we got 9 estimated. You know what? I think I might just stay back here and try to save me a lap's worth. I don't know how many pit, how many people pit on that last caution. I can't imagine it was it was many. Now, what lap sounds easy? But this is one big lap's worth of fuel. So, it's uh, it's gonna take quite a bit, but I think we can do it. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna easy and easy off. Try to save us a lap's worth here before the end of this thing. I know we're going to get a caution. We always do. Somebody does something stupid to cause a caution every time. And it just ruins it for everybody. It ruins it for me. I could have had so many strategy wins if it wasn't for a damn late race caution. 
Well, yeah, we got eight laps to go. Seven, seven laps on field, and we're still a little over a lap short. Like it's cycling right in turn three, so we still got a little ways to get it back to one. But again, I mean, we can. Oh man, if this just goes green, I think we'll be okay. Because I think we can get it close enough to where we can really back off then, and then, I mean, we could probably coast it. We can get it close enough to where we could probably coast the rest of the way. But the, just the biggest issue is we need to go green. So, I don't, I don't know if we can, we can do that or not, but you're not going to get it from me, most likely. Oh, we got two cars behind me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to pass anybody. I'm just saving fuel here. Seven to go, six estimated. I didn't see when it cycled that time, but I'm saving a lot of fuel, so. Oh, here we come. There's everybody right there. I mean, everybody has to pit. We probably have to pit, too. We're still a lap short. Yeah, we got four laps. We got to at least get it to, it, at the very least, we got to get it to about a half a lap short. We're going to have a lot of time to back off of here. Um, there's the leaders right there. And they should be right behind me. So already at least 15 seconds. So there, there's the margin right there. Everybody behind me. So we've got like 18 seconds to Elliott Sadler, who should be the leader. We should have a couple more pit stops this time. But there it is. In four laps, he really shouldn't be able to catch me. But that's... There we go. We just cycled in the lead. So... I mean, we've only got to win by like a car length. So we've got all this time to save fuel. We're going to try it, man. We're running out of time, though, and I don't... Oof. We can still back up a little bit. And he's already cut it down to 16 seconds. Obviously, he's, he's already quicker than I am. Anyways, but I mean, I'm saving fuel, so... Yep, 16, now underneath 16 seconds. That's still a long, a long time around here. we got plenty of time. I wish I wish I could like use my clutch and just clutch and coast going off into the corner. That's that's really how you save a lot of fuel right there, but it's no clutch in the game, so I, I can't use it. I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. Two estimated. Still there right there at the line. We need it to be three. I'm trying to save a lot of fuel around here, but yeah. That's the margin. Thirteen seconds. Yeah, we're really gonna have to back off of here. Hopefully, it, it usually lets us go a little bit past zero when it hits estimated zero on estimated. So um, we're gonna see how long we're at this point. We're gonna be running out sometime on the last lap. I mean, we've got three wins. This, I'm, <laughs> this is what we get to do when we win. We get to have races where we can just try shit. And this is uh, yeah. Wow, it just went down to one. That's horse shit. I've been saving fuel this entire run, and I still have not. It's still over one lap. I I don't know why it's just not saving fuel, but I'm I, I, it's, it's not gonna happen. I'll tell you that. Ten seconds. Oh man, Elliot Sadler is catching me. Eight and a half. At this point, it's really hard to tell how much we can really back off before he catches me. I mean, we're going for the win. But now, yeah, I don't. I really don't think we're gonna make it on field. I don't think there's any way possible. We're gonna be hitting zero estimated right about here, I'm going off here to turn three. There's no way. There it is, zero estimated. There's no way we make it around one more time. It's not happening. It's impossible. I think we're probably gonna lose the lead by that time. We're probably gonna be sputtering going off into one, four and a half seconds. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm just cruising. Three and a half. Oh, it's going down quick. Oh, I'm sputtering. I'm sputtering. Full throttle, full throttle! Ah! Well, here we go. Go get him. I'm done. Well... I tried. I tried! I saved that entire last run, and I didn't save anything according to the game. That's kind of horse shit. 
if you ask me, but whatever. So what happens here? Because I'm not going to make it back. I'm going to finish last, right? No. Thanks to Michael and that Daniel Sorvez. Bring it in, you're low on gas. Thanks, you fucking dickhead. Oh, <laughs> they refined for a second. Oh. Come on. No. Oh. <laughs> we found a little bit extra. Come on, weave. This must be the reserve. So I can make it to the finish. So can I just like, can I just like sim? Or do I have to go? I have to finish. Okay. Great. Well. It's gonna be next year by the time I fucking wiggle my cro myself across the damn line. Oh, here we go. You know, we, we've done this before. Let me just swerve in front of somebody and have them hit me. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be hard to do. Come on. Oh, here's a bunch of people. Yep, that's not the way we needed to go. Oh, there you go. Here you go. Somebody be a, be a friend. We got it up to 40 miles an hour. Oh, thanks for that. I think I ran back out of fuel, so... Oh, no, here we go. This sucks. Just added insult to injury. That just won't, like, take me to the end. I have to do this shit to get to the line. Because it won't just... The race just won't end. Come on! I should've just got out and pushed the damn thing across the line. What's up? What's up, crowd? What's up, fans? We tried! Ten years later, we have crossed the start-finish line in 38th. I probably had a 105 speed rating up until the final lap. Final lap. <laughs> uh. Wow, look at the finishing results. Elliot Sadler with the win. Brandon Gone, Cole Custer up in there. Yeah. I mean, we could have won. I, I, just, I just can't get over that. I say, like, I mean, you guys saw it. I saved that entire run. And according to the game, I saved next to nothing because I was running out or it was cycling right there before I got to turn three the entire time. I was running half throttle for 10 laps and that's all it got me. So I don't know if that's, that was weird. Oh no, not again. So we've got triple duty again. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, it's not all going to be at the same track. I, let's look at the schedule. So we've got gateway in the trucks. Uh, I don't know, I assume it's probably the same track for Xfinity and Cup. Okay, so yeah, so Xfinity, ooh, okay, so we get to run Michigan, okay. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, you'll probably see the Truck Series race by itself, and then I'll run the Xfinity and Cup um, and, put the, and post those the same day since they're at the same track. I'm excited for Gateway, though. Gateway is a lot of fun. Under the lights. Oh, hell yeah. So that'll be coming up next. But that'll do it for me. Appreciate y'all as always. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. It helps me out a ton. We're on to Gateway and then Michigan for Xfinity and another Cup Series hot seat ride. So like I said, that'll do it. Love y'all. Appreciate you guys. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.